Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and we're back for the weekly ranking show where we go through all the ATP and WTA rankings for the week. And we haven't had too many changes to the top 10 because most of the players in the top 10 played the Labor Cup, which wasn't worth any points, but it was still fun to watch. Let's go through the past results though, because we had four tournaments last week, two on the men's tour and two on the women's. Having a look at the results from last week, we had the Korea Open, which was a WTA 250 event. Alexandrova, she defeated Ostapenko 7-6-6 love in the final of that event. Very good week from Alexandrova all around. At the Tokyo Open, we had Samsonova beating Zhung in the final 7-5-7-5. That was a WTA 500 event, so a lot of points up for grabs. And Samsonova has been in very good form the last few weeks. Over on the men's tour at the Moselle Open, we had Sinego defeating Bublik in the final 7-6 6-2. That was an ATP 250 event, but Sanago getting a title on hard courts. And at the San Diego Open, we had Nakashima defeating Giron 6-4, 6-4. And he got a big boost in the rankings, a career high ranking for him. We'll talk about that in a second. But a good week all round for some lower ranked players getting some titles. Let's start with the WTA rankings for this week. And we did have a couple of changes in the top 10. Sviantec, she stays at number one with Jabur at number two. But Contivate, she dropped 500 points from a tournament that she won last year, dropping down to number four, and Bedosa goes up to number three. So they had a bit of a switch there. And you gotta remember that Contivate has a lot of points to defend at the end of this season, because this time last year, she was dominating. So the first of her points are starting to fall. Pagula stays at number five, and another change with Zachary going down to number seven, and Sabalenka up to number six. Zachary losing a lot of points from this time last year. And Kind of like Contivate, she does have a lot of points to defend at the end of the season. We keep an eye on her ranking. Goff comes in at number eight, Halibut at number nine, and Garcia rounds out the top 10 for this week. Having a look at the race of the finals now, and still only the two players qualified, which Fiontech at number one and Jabur at number two, but Pagula is very, very close to qualifying she is at number three. Goff's at number four. Garcia at five. Sabalenka at six. Kazakina at seven. But we have a change for the number eight spot with Kudamatova going up to number eight, pushing Zachary down to number nine, just outside of qualification. And that's because Kudamatova made a semi-final last week in Tokyo. Zachary is playing this week, though, so she might be able to regain that spot. And Bedosa rounds out the top 10 for the WTA race this week. Having a look at players that have gone up in the rankings this week and career high rankings for both Samsonova and Zhung who both made the final of Tokyo, which was a big event. Samsonova goes up seven spots to number 23, and Zhang went up eight spots to number 28. So while everyone else was away, these two ladies played very, very well at a big tournament and got a lot of points. Players that went down in the rankings, Rabakina, the Wimbledon champion. She's down to number 25, three spots lower than last week after dropping points from this time last year. And Teichman, she goes down five spots to 36 in the world for the same reason. She played well this time last year, couldn't replicate that this year and her points dropped off. Going over to the ATP rankings now and not much has changed because most of the top 10 Play the Labor Cup with Alcaraz staying at number one, Rude at number two, Nadal at three, Medvedev at four, despite playing last week. Unfortunately, didn't do too well. Zverev stays at five, with Sidney Pass at six, Djokovic at seven, Nori at eight, Rublev at nine. We do have a change at the number 10 spot with Hercatch dropping out of the top 10, making way for Sinner after Hercatch dropped a lot of points from this time last year. But a couple of these players are playing this week, so. Expect maybe some changes to the top 10 because a few of those players are playing. Having a look at the race of the finals now. And again, we've got four players qualified with Alcaraz at number one, Rafa at number two, Root at three, Sidney Paz at four. And they will all be playing at the ATP finals. Medvedev still at number five, despite not playing great last week. Still got a lot of points though to make up to get to that qualification. Rublev comes in at number six, Ogier Eliasim at seven, Zverev at eight, Herkech at nine, and Taylor Fritz comes in at number 10. But remember, Novak Djokovic, he is currently 15 in the race of the finals. If he stays in the top 20, because he won Wimbledon, he will automatically get into the finals. Let's take a look at the players outside the top 10 that have done well this week and gone up the ranks. With Sinego winning a title, he goes up 20 spots to number 45 in the world. And Nakashima, he goes up 21 spots to 49 in the world, which is a career high for him. He's into the top 50 for the first time. So the winners of last week getting rewarded in the rankings, getting going up a lot of spots too, 20 spots each. And a couple of players going down in the rankings this week, Duckworth. He's gone down 18 spots outside the top 100 now at 101 in the world. And Quan, he goes down 47 spots to 121 in the world. And that's because this time last year, those two guys made a final of an event and unfortunately couldn't replicate those points this year. So they've dropped down the ranks and both are outside the top 100. So there you have it. They are the rankings for this week. No major changes, mainly changes outside of the top 10 and some players doing really well in the absence 
of some of those top 10 players, but we're back at it again. And next week, the first week of October, that's when everyone's coming back. We've got Jabur, Sviantek, a lot of the top 10 on the men's side are coming back as well, Alcaraz. So get ready for some craziness towards the end of the season with the ATP and WTA finals happening in November. Let me know down in the comments below. Is there anything that shocked you this week in the rankings? Anything that you're surprised at? Maybe you're surprised that some players aren't in the top 10. Some players might surprise you that still are in the top 10 who haven't played that much. Let me know down in the comments below.